Like, look right here, you can see that whole car, you can't see him up here. He triggered it, he didn't even know. And there I am vlogging, look at me, there I am. <laughs> Yeah, buddy, we finally have another Tesla update that I've been waiting for because we can use the side repeater cameras with the backup camera, finally. New in this update, we have backup camera improvements, so you can now see the video streams coming from the side repeater cameras. So as you can see, you can see your blind spots and you can technically kind of replace the side mirrors in certain situations and you can see a lot more especially when you're backing into a parking space which is great because there's a couple times i backed into a space too close to a curb couldn't really tell in the mirror and then curb my rims so hopefully that'll stop happening as of this moment now a lot of people including me would love it if the actual side cameras automatically popped up super big when you turn on the turn signal like it does in hondas so hopefully that's coming soon because we now have access to the side cameras while we're driving might as well make it bigger as we signal and try to switch lanes that'll be very helpful although i guess right now if we have the backup camera on while we're driving we can see it in a little window which is better than nothing we also have dash cam improvements so now we have a sentry video recorded instead of having to scrub through the whole 10 minute video it puts a little red dot on the part that triggered it so you can easily see what happened which is also amazing because there's so many times I come back to the car I'm like wow I got 12 century events I start scrubbing through to see what happened even though I know nothing actually happened and then I just get tired of doing it trying to figure out where it is I know it's usually around the end about the 10 minute mark or so but still sometimes I don't see anything and I just get tired and just delete the whole thing so if something actually did happen that'd be pretty bad to do we have tune-in improvements to make it easier to discover tune-in stations and podcasts I don't use tune-in that much so I don't really care walk away door lock improvements so you can have it not automatically lock while you're at home although I park outside so that's not a good idea new language support so you can have Portuguese now that's pretty cool and then we have a cabin camera update. Help Tesla continue to develop safer vehicles by sharing camera data from your vehicle. This update allows you to enable the built-in cabin camera above the rear view mirror. If enabled, Tesla will automatically capture images and a short video clip just prior to a collision or safety event to help engineers develop safety features and enhancements in the future. As usual, you can adjust your data sharing preferences by tapping control, safety and security, data sharing, and allow cabin camera analytics. And it won't be associated with your VIN to protect your privacy. That was a mouthful. Now as for the cabin camera, I would love if we had the option to save the video as part of sentry mode especially, and maybe even as part of the dash cam footage because why not have the inside too? I mean, it's here, might as well use it. I mean, they're using it for collisions and other stuff, so they should let us use it too. But you know, slowly and slowly we are progressing to where we wanna be. All right, so here we go. We can turn it on right now do I want to turn it on kinda I'm not sure I don't I don't know I, I'll just leave it off for now I'm a little scared All right, so now we have the backup camera popped up and as you can see on the bottom we have this little arrow we'll swipe up and BAM oh that's actually really clear too I thought it was gonna be like yellow or something that's really good quality you could definitely see all on the right side all on the left side your blind spots are completely open now they're not blind spots anymore remember this is what Elon wants in the future no side mirrors and just have the cameras being used and right here we're heading toward that already you know we just got to get it legal in the United States and I guess everywhere else too you can swipe it down if you don't want it swipe it back up if you do now one thing I'm not liking about it is I like to have the music down here visible during the night it's impossible because of dark mode but during the day you can see it but right here it's covered up Although I guess that's not really that big of a deal. I'd rather have the cameras. And plus, you can get rid of them if you don't want them. But if you take a look here, we see that house right here. And we see that same house right here. But you can see a lot more. And even that car just came by. You can see him way back here. Well, you can see him way back here, here too. But yeah, you saw what happened. You can see a lot more going on on the side of the car. Taking a look on this side, you can see the opening of the house right here. Up here, you can't see it. So you can see we have a lot more view now that we have the side cameras active. And then on to sentry mode. Let's launch the viewer. And, wow, that was a bit glitchy right there. So here's a video. We don't have any red dots. So let's try to find one. I don't know if it has to be a new one. Yeah, it looks like it has to be a new one because these are all old ones before the update. And they're actually really short too. There we go. Actually, there we go. We got a red dot. So it starts playing about, it looks like a minute before the red dot. I think you can tap the red dot. Okay, it's a little, it's still really buggy, but, you know. There, we got pretty close. Let's see what goes down. Um... Nothing's happening on the red dot. Okay, let's find some a bird flew by. Maybe that was it <laughs> Let's see. Let's find one where something actually happens here. I am Okay, we have a red dot here. Let's go up a little bit All right 
And now, let's see what's going on. Nothing, 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 and nothing. But in about, what, 10 seconds or so, something's gonna happen. Ugh, see, I hate when it does that. I don't know why that's so buggy. It seems like something so simple. Play back the video. Okay, we're getting close. In three, two, one, 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 one. Okay, we're in the red dot. There I am. Oh, you saw the flash and everything. It triggered it. There I am getting in. Oh, I was until it reset again. <laughs> I hate that. They need to fix that. I mean, it's, it still works, but you know, it's really annoying when it does that. Plus I can't even get past the red dot. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. We saw where it triggered it, so that's cool. So we try one more? Here, let's see. Right here. Yeah, there's something up with it. It's too glitchy, but in about 10 seconds, we're gonna see something go down. Oh, here we go. Look at that. There's my buddy. He triggered it. He didn't even know. And there I am vlogging. Look at me. There I am. Haha. <laughs> Pretty cool. So that's cool. That's nice to have. We are now on the road. We have some cars coming up behind us. One's about to pass us on the right side. You can see him coming up. Looking good, huh? We can see our whole blind spot. That is awesome. Coming up on the left side, we have cars. Wow. This is great. This is a very nice improvement. Like, you can see the truck next to me. You can't see him in the backup camera, but you can see the back of him right there on the side camera. That's nice. Look at that. You can see all the, like, like right here. You can see that whole car. You can't see him up here. This is a great improvement. I'm loving this. It's so crazy that you could watch three video streams while you're driving. I mean, obviously, you should only use it to help you. Don't watch it while you're driving, but, you know, it's pretty cool. Okay, here we go. Let's get moving. Look how smooth it is. Looking buttery smooth. No drop frames. Looking great. Very clear. You can see what's going on. Wow, they did good with this. Because I, when I first heard about this, I was wondering how they would find the room on this screen since it is horizontal and there's not that much space over there to fit all three cameras. But they did a very good job implementing this. Okay, we're about to pass a car on the left side. There he is. And now he's on the back camera too. That's awesome. It's doing very good. And I'm very impressed. I love it. And now watch, I got to switch lanes to the left. Well, the guy's not too close to me. But I'm like, okay, I'm clear. <laughs> That's just so nice. Look, you can see the curb and everything. Wow, I am digging this. And now we have another actual use case, backing into a parking space. So let's back into the driveway here. Getting close to that car right there, huh? We can look in that mirror, the, in the mirror, on the left repeater camera and see that we actually have space and we're not gonna hit him. Look at that. I think we're not hitting him, right? <laughs> okay, this is really hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow it made me park worse. <laughs> oh, look at that. I didn't hit the car, so that's cool. Now, one of the things I am noticing that I'm not too fond of right now, and I hope they fix this in an update, as you can see, we have the passenger airbag off indicator right there, and that's visible. But where's everything else? It happens to be behind the backup camera. I really wish the time and the temperature and really everything would just stay above the video just like that does. I mean, come on. It would make a lot more sense because I like to be able to glance and see what time it is, see how hot it is outside when I start dying out here. You know, easy access to press in the save the dash cam video, all that good stuff. But as you can see, it's gone. And Oh no, I got to save the footage. What happened? Oh, I got to swipe down first and then I can do it. Overall, I am really liking this update. That feature is so great to have and I'm glad it's here. There's a few annoyances that I hope they'll get ironed out in future updates because they're not too bad and they seem very simple fixes. But just that's all I got. Everything else is cool though and I'm very happy to see that we keep improving every other week or so it's pretty great let me know what you guys think of this update and if you got it what you guys want to see coming up next until next time i am out here